I'm like thrift store Barbie. It's the San Antonio Thrift Series finale. You thrifted with me at a dozen of the city's best and biggest thrift stores. And now it's time to see everything that I got in one big fun styling haul. And stay tuned to the end for hilarious bloopers from the series. Welcome back, this is Nikki Terry Style. If I seem extra excited today, it's because I am. First of all, we are of course doing one big finale to this ongoing San Antonio, Texas thrifting series today. And this is gonna be an epic styling haul for you guys. I can't wait for you to see it. So I am just like pumped and ready to go. I have so many ideas for how I wanna style these pieces. I wanna thank you all for coming thrifting with me in San Antonio and you have been dropping comments about tips for how you think I should style these pieces. So I've been saving your ideas and I'm gonna to try to incorporate some of those into my styling as well. So that's gonna be a ton of fun to see. And then we'll conclude this big series in San Antonio. So this is actually episode 12. If you think you missed any episodes, I did create a playlist for this series. If you go into my channel and look for the San Antonio, Texas thrift stores playlist, you can watch this episode one through 12 at this point. But okay, we've got like dozens of looks to get through. So without further ado, let's get into the big styling haul. Let's start bright and simple with this t-shirt and blazer combo, Levi's 501s and some Converse sneakers. The t-shirt, jeans, and blazer were of course thrifted on this Texas trip and the Converse are from my local Goodwill. I thought it'd be fun to throw on a little more pattern with this polka dot scarf and to grab this thrifted coach bag. So I thought this was a good start, but I wanted to improve on this concept with a black and white look. So I have this bootleg Celine tee from the Goodwill in Texas. And the earrings are from the estate sale in the last episode. Absolutely fabulous. I added black heels to get this a little more polish. And then the same checked red blazer. I love how this came together with a little baguette and my sunglasses. I feel like brunch ready in this outfit. And I was really feeling myself in this one, so. I'll take a picture of this one. Excuse me. And I'm obviously having another idea here. <laughs> it was a moment. <laughs> and even though it's grossly out of season right now, I did feel like I should have more of a Celine runway moment with my vintage mink coat. I am shook at how much I like these bold, wide leg pattern pants on myself. It feels like I'm breaking one of my own fashion rules and I love it. As long as I kind of keep my waist defined, I think the proportions work on me. So now I'm swapping out for that Escada blouse that I thrifted in Texas. I love a blouse like this because you have so many styling options. Once again, tucking it in to define my waist or tying it up on the bottom to get the same proportion again. And yeah, you've just got a lot of versatility and this feels very wearable for summer. I feel like farmer's market ready in this one or something. One of the cutest pieces I found on the trip, I told y'all I wanted to style this fruit print dress in a 90s fashion over a little white baby tee, and then I think sandals are cute with it. But here's my secret. I didn't even zip it up all the way because it's too tight on me, and I've got someone who wants to buy it, so I didn't want to put any more strain on the dress. So yeah, I think a bucket hat, sandals, and a little baguette is super cute with this look. If you want some more pattern mixing, a little polka dot scarf on your bag. And I told you the other way I wanted to style it was with another like neon sweater layer. I think hot pink is super cute with this. And then just to like make it a little more edgy, adding my Doc Martin boots. And this pink flamingo necklace is from the estate sale and it just kind of ties it all together in this funky 90s mashup. I cropped this t-shirt from a dress and paired it with these pattern pants, both thrifted in Texas. These are so comfortable. They give me resort wear vibes. I decided to just lean into it with a floppy brim hat, a straw bag and some sandals and I'm good to go.
Now the challenge here is to style this skirt so that it doesn't look like a fall piece to me. So I kept it with that sunny tee, sandals, and a straw bag to keep it light and summery. I even thought a baseball cap might be a good choice. Then I pulled on my clogs to go with more of the 70s vibe, like the pattern in the skirt. Oops. But I'm not sure it all works together. It feels pretty mismatched. Moving on to something that does work a bit better for me, this 25 cent thrifted snakeskin print blouse. I knew I wanted to pair it with just shorts and sandals because this is such a wearable summer look for me. But I also love the idea of playing up the Western vibes of this blouse. So I'm gonna pin a brooch on at the collar and- I'm trying not to give myself a tracheotomy. It's better if you have someone to help you with this <laughs> process. There we go. So I said this here before, but I think this gives it a, the effect of wearing a bolo tie without having to own a bolo tie as a separate piece. And why not? I'm gonna pull on my cowboy boots, which were not thrifted in Texas. I thrifted them a while ago. Unfortunately, I never found my cowboy boots while in Texas, but my black pair that I already had works perfectly with some of these looks. I did manage to thrift a lot of great bottoms on this trip. This bright skirt with pockets is one of my faves. I had to pair it with my cowboy boots again. And I get a lot of questions about this t-shirt. It's a thrift flip from last year. Then I'm pulling on the necklace that I got at Boysville Thrift Store. And then I think a brown bag kind of grounds this outfit a little bit too, cause it's so bright. Similar style pieces, but a totally different look with all these neutral palettes. I thrifted this muscle tee, the printed skirt, and these earrings in Texas. I thought this outfit needed a lot of like gold elements to bring up the glam of it and balance out the sportiness of the muscle tee. And the snakeskin boots are the final touch to bring in like a Western feel as well as a little bit of pattern mixing. Another challenging piece for me was this blue dress. It's a nice fit, but a little frumpy. So I'm tucking in the waist, added these sparkly earrings from the estate sale. I added my clogs, a belt, and a leather jacket just to help give it all some edge. And I do think it helps modernize the piece. And I'm gonna try a second thing here. This is a leather skirt that I've had for a while. Here's the tag if you've never seen it before. I do get questions about it all the time. It's awesome. And pulling a skirt over the bottom of a dress like this to break it up is a good way to get more wear out of pieces that you already own. I'm basically applying the same idea to this 80s blazer that was part of a set I thrifted in Texas. I do think the leather skirt helps modernize it and this feels like something I actually would wear. Now for the skirt, I wanted to get this 80s piece a 90s grunge vibe. This tee is actually mine from the 90s. And the bucket bag, I just thrifted that in Texas. I almost forgot to pull it out, but I've been using it all the time, it's awesome. So yeah, I think my docks and an oversized jean jacket do give it the grunge vibe. Or pulling on this sort of like a grandpa cardigan even reminds me of stuff that I would have worn in the 90s. Or I also like this with the thrifted blazer from Texas. I love sort of the pattern and print mixing here. This blouse is one of my favorite thrifted pieces from the trip. I wanted to just give it a casual and cutesy vibe. I thought my blue frame glasses and a navy blue simple bag and little white heels would just make a perfect, cute, simple outfit. All right. Obviously we know this Western shirt was thrifted in Texas, but what you don't know is my boyfriend just got me this Corgi t-shirt that I think goes with it and it's so good. <laughs> Cause yeah, if you don't know, we do have a Corgi. So yeah, I pulled on this bandana and just some sneakers to keep it real casual. I do love wearing a men's shirt as sort of a shacket. And I think this one is a nice bright one for summer. Rolling with the casual comfy summer outfits, I paired this neon tee underneath a black and white button up, both thrifted in Texas. I love neon with black and white together. I think this whole look is so crisp and clean, but super casual. 
If I had a signature styling right now, it would probably be this combination of a band t-shirt with a printed skirt, a cute hat and boots. This is just something wearable for me and I will wear this combination in a million different ways throughout the summer. Jesse. Okay, so yeah, uh, I'm taking a viewer suggestion here for these houndstooth print pants. Someone suggested styling them with a knit top and I love it. I just thought it needed a little pop of color. So I'm tying a bag around my waist to give me that belt bag effect. And with my white sneakers, I think this is a really cute, simple look for summer too. If I'm being honest, I don't think this dress really needs any styling. I think a simple heel and you're good to go, but we're making a video here. So I've added a belt, a cute headband, a colorful sweater, and Doc Martin boots just to give this a cozier look. More patterned pants from this thrift trip. I think these are great with neutral tones. So I've just got a simple crop top and sneakers, pull on a little cardigan for an extra layer. And then for some more interest, adding a patterned scarf in my hair. And the big sunnies complete the look. This bright knit top was one of my favorite finds from the trip. I think it's just so bright and summery, very easy to wear. So simple styling with my sneakers, a straw bag, maybe a little hat to keep it really casual. And then I wanted to try it with the lavender pants that I thrifted. I hate how these pants fit me, if I'm being honest, but I'm trying to a couple things to style these pants successfully. I love the color blocking. I think the color blocking takes some attention away from the poor fit, but it needs some work. Yes, this is a Clinique bag that I thrifted at a Goodwill and threw a strap on. I just love the psychedelic flowers on it. So adding that bag takes some attention away. Then I had a viewer who suggested using a scarf somehow to cover the fit. So I'm trying a couple different things here and I think this kind of works. I don't think this is like a magic silver bullet for my problem area, but by the time I got the bag and the scarf on, I felt like it did help a lot visually. So something to play around with yourself if you're interested. For me, I think a tried and true trick here would be to pull on an oversized blouse and wear it open. And especially the fact that this one has so much bright colors and pattern really helps draw attention away from the pants. This t-shirt and skirt both thrifted in Texas. I think they look okay together. I'm trying it with sneakers for a casual look, but I felt like I could do a bit better. So I swapped in this pink knit tank top and it's like a, it's like a Barbie outfit. I'm like thrift store Barbie. Yes, I was truly excited about that revelation. But okay, let's add a scarf because I think that looks so chic. I'm loving the look of a sleeveless top with a silk scarf for summer. I do think it is incredibly stylish. And I still think it's thrift store Barbie, but I'm okay with it. <laughs> Come on Barbie, let's go party. Uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right, back to work. Oh, also this with this. Eh? It's time to style this printed vest I thrifted in Texas. A friend suggested trying it with black and white stripes. I also tried a neutral toned stripe and one of my thrift flipped tees just to have the graphics showing underneath. So let me know if you have a favorite. I think they all look really cute and summery. Moving on from that bright outfit to this sort of dark academia one, this vintage 70s top was thrifted in Texas and I paired it with a pleated skirt and a little paisley hair scarf to play into the academia slash 70s look of this outfit. But I also love this top with just a simple pair of jeans. So I pulled the 501s thrifted in Texas back on and some sneakers. And I think a little beret gives it a little bit more interest again, just to look a little more styled up. I think I saved the best for last. This 70s roller disco top that I thrifted as the last piece on an impulse while I was waiting in line. I decided to put it underneath my black 
little jumpsuit because I still have so much of that sparkly pattern on top showing through and I wanted to make this really casual with my van sneakers. I think it's such a fun look. This is something I would totally just wear around the house. Well, that's gonna do it for this styling and for our entire San Antonio thrifting series. We have reached the finale. I wanna thank you so much for thrifting with me in San Antonio. What an amazing experience it was. I really enjoyed all of those stores and all of my amazing finds. Eventually, I will be putting out a video that will rank the top 10 thrift stores in San Antonio, so stay tuned for that. In the meantime, we're going back to our regular Sunday upload schedule for now. I do have a lot of really amazing thrifting and styling content coming up for the summer, and I'm ready to start planning my next thrifting adventure. So if you have any suggestions of where I should go, leave it in the comments. Of course, you can subscribe and turn on notifications if you don't want to miss any upcoming videos. And I'll see you guys back here for the next one on Sunday. <sighs> My earring fell out. Back is gone. It's right here. Did you guys, did you miss the blooper reel? Did you miss it? Did you think I quit making mistakes for a hot second? No, oh no, no, <laughs> never. San Antonio, Texas. So of course you can subscribe and turn on notifications if you don't wanna miss any upcoming videos. And I'll see you guys again for the next one very soon. Soon, we'll do it, we'll do it soon. We'll, we'll do it soon, it's coming. I don't think so. Okay, so <laughs> Whoop. Snakes on a shirt, baby. Uh, what was I doing? All right, start over. <laughs> Thrift hauls, styling, plus size, everything. Vintage everything. I'm so excited. I am like wondering why. Anxious to get to the next stop. Where are we going? It's really popular, I guess. It's called Boysville something. Boysville. Yeah. Can I ask you something? <laughs> oh, sure. Oh, you need an opinion? Yes, please. I think you could wear open over a blouse and black pants. Those might be more comfortable. Thank you. Yeah, my pleasure. Do you like here? No. Oh, okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. just like shopping my little heart no, no, no. out. <laughs> have you shopped here before? No. No, same. My, neither have I. Mm -mm. So I'm like, are you wondering about pricing and stuff? Oh, yeah. I was just wondering, like. Oh, about something. So we, mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Thanks, Yeah, good luck. <laughs> I'm getting disheveled. That's how hard I'm thrifting. Yeah, the store. Definitely have like music speakers everywhere, that's for sure. Focus on me. <laughs> me. <laughs> oh my God, there's such a cute dog outside. Oh. Aww. Okay, anyway. Cute dog distraction, okay. Like all this other stuff that's left, I'm like, probably got a Texas I don't know. Oh, I didn't say what it's good for. Uh, what is it good for? I don't know. <laughs> Why would I put for this one? I didn't write anything down. So if you really enjoy that type of environment, like this is what that store is good for, for sure. All right, let's go with that. <laughs> is there really any rhyme or reason to it?
I'm glad I just filmed myself doing Snapchat with like making ugly faces, my friend. <laughs> mm. Yep. Gonna do the whole fruit thing. Hat bangs. Drama. Pretty average, although they did have a huge home decor section and that was pretty awesome. Somehow that's it. Try on all my shit. That's it.